Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Raven and I am so excited about this AM PM playlist. Today's workout and playlist is brought to you by the wonderful toe socks. <laughs> They're sponsoring these two videos for you to stay in shape and feel good in your body every single day. So I'm gonna give you a spicy little AM workout and a spicy little PM workout. All you need are your toe socks if you have them <laughs> and your beautiful Pilates mat and your beautiful, beautiful body. And when you're ready, we will get this party started. Get your copy, here we go. everyone welcome and good morning if you're completing this in the morning time <laughs> I just had my coffee so I'm feeling a little bit more awake but let's get this party started so start facing me on your mat in just a comfy comfy position give me a few inhales and a few exhales repeat inhale shoulders pull up to your ears Exhale, draw them down your back. One more, just like that. Inhale, pull the shoulders up. Exhale, draw the shoulders down. Arms come out to the side, take your right hand down. Give your left side a big old mermaid stretch right there, reaching your arm across the room for three, two, whew. Bring it up, other side. I am so sore, you guys. Really stretching through the top of your hip, the bottom of your ribs for three, two, one. Both arms up, clasp your fingertips, reach, reach, reach through your spine and crown of your head, and lower your arms down. Okay, here we go. So come to seated on your mat, extend your legs as wide as the mat, really flex your feet, reach your arms out in front of you. I want you to imagine you're sitting against a wall. So your spine is really long. We articulate off of the wall, head, shoulders, you're rolling through your spine, middle back, pull your belly button into your lower back and then roll all the way up, lower back, middle back upper back sit up really really tall this is called spine stretch forward go again notice it's called spine stretch pull your ribs back scoop your belly pull your waist behind you <sighs> melt back up plug your shoulders should feel it a little bit in your core too let's go a little bit quicker four three melt your spine two scoop your belly and up squeeze your booty push your heels down use your stomach again how are you breathing it's like you're going up and over a metal rod and lift and lift and little quicker just two counts go one and a two and lift it's not a stretch of your hamstrings go again it's a stretch of your your spine lift 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 two more there oh my abs roll roll lift last one roll all the way up and lower your arms down okay lie down on your back baby remember those same principles of rolling through your spine bring your feet and legs together heels under your knees arms by your side we're gonna roll our spine up for some bridging <sighs> squeezing your inner thighs together drawing your glutes to your heels roll your spine back down repeat <sighs> This should feel really good, especially if you haven't done any movement yet <laughs> during the day. We're really warming up our spines. I'm also warming up my arms by pushing them into the mat. I'm warming up my core by keeping my abs really, really engaged. Let's go a little quicker. Roll up, roll down, squeeze your butt at the top. I'm also pushing my feet down against the mat. <sighs> And I especially feel it and get a little boost from these Pilates grip socks because I can really feel the suctioning from the little grippies in my mat. 
I love Pilates socks because I really feel like they give me that extra support and that extra grip <laughs> versus doing Pilates barefoot or doing Pilates in like uncomfortable shoes, right? Two more. Two. Woo. Last one, hold your hips up. Now, without moving these, lift one heel, switch. Other heel. Push your arms down, articulate your ankles. A lot of times you guys will probably see me doing our Pilates workouts in shoes. I should not do that. Do not be like me. <laughs> but I love having the support and the comfort of these socks without having to wear shoes. And then I can do nice little ankle articulations like this because we want to strengthen our feet. And I really feel like toe socks help me do that. Both heels lift lower. Eight, seven, six. Woo, keep those hips up. Five, I'm feeling the burn. Four, woo, baby. Three, two, hold both heels up. Go back to your roll down and up. You notice you might get a little higher. I want you to send your knees away from you, y'all. Two more. Woo. Buns, 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 buns. Last one. I'm so sore. Hold it. Keep the heels there. Open thighs, a zipper close. Start to check in with your breathing. Keep your hips lifted. Keep them still. Woo. I'm feeling those inner thighs now. Inner thighs a squeeze. Oh my gosh, my belly is on fire. My booty, two for three. And zip it. And two. And zip it one more time. Zip your legs together. Oh my gosh, roll it down. Pull your knees into your chest. Woohoo! Okay, rock yourself up to seated. Last thing with flexion of your spine, my favorite. Keep those feet there. Round your back like a letter C, hold it. Now from your belly, hover your feet in balance. See how I'm making a tight ball? This is called rolling like a ball. Here we go, rock back small. Rock up, balance, repeat. Woo, try not to get a flat tire like me. <laughs> Roll through your spine. Use your belly. Advancement, hands to ankles. <sighs> Should feel like a little massage on your back, but if it doesn't feel good, just hold your balance. <sighs> Ooh, no momentum. Can you make it smaller, not bigger? For four. Oh, my abs. <sighs> Three. Oh, my abs. <laughs> Two more. Two. <sighs> Scoop the belly, one more. Balance and hold it for three, two, one. Sit up tall, recenter yourself on the mat. Let's go for some more upper body. Hands go back behind you, feet are together. Your spine is long and strong here. Triceps, we bend elbows, extend. Whew. Keep going, bend. Chest up, extend. Keep your core tight right here. I'm really pushing my feet into the floor, especially because I've got my grippies. And you want to imagine your elbows going straight back behind you, even if they aren't. This exercise is all about posture in the backs of our arms, our upper backs. Now let's make them small, little. Ah, pulses. Keep your chest up, no shrinking right here, honey. That's me, that's how I feel right now. Because <laughs> I'm literally so sore. I feel every muscle in my body. I even feel my butt right now because I'm sitting on it and it's so sore. Four, whoo, three, two. Straight arms, lift your hips to the ceiling. It's a real high bridge. Hold it for three. Oh boy, two. Lower your booty to a hover. Back to your big triceps, baby. It's lower. Push, lift. Three, squeeze the shoulder blades together if you can. Four, it's tiny. Keep your booty down on the mat if you need to modify. Whew, we're just targeting those arms. Seven, eight, eight little pulses. Go tiny, down, keep it small, keep your abs tight. Five, whoo, burning. Four, three, two, straight arms, hips go back up. Feel all your bridging muscles again. Uh, 
Roll down, okay. <laughs> Roll over onto your side, facing moi. Elbow underneath your shoulder, right? I take my left foot down on the mat. I got my right leg long here. Flex that right leg, lift. Lower. Now we're focusing right inner thigh, but you're gonna feel a little bit of right upper body too. Whoo, honey chow. Lift. Oh, it burns. <laughs> My inner thighs are always so weak, but that's really a part of your core muscles, especially for ladies and gentlemen too, but typically women have a little bit weaker inner thighs and we need that to push out our babies. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Stretch your leg. Woo, my right arm is on fire. Keep going here. Now hold this next one up. You already know, tiny little pulses. I really want them small on the accent to go lift, lift, lift. Wow, look at this coordination. I've got the green, I've got the green. That's another reason why I love toe socks, you guys. They come in so many different styles, different patterns, different colors. You can have some with your toes out and you can even have some that pull all the way up your leg. I have those too, they're so cute. They're like leg warmers. <laughs> but I felt like today these really matched my outfit. Last one, hold that leg up there, hold it for four, three, two, go back to big, down, up. Whoo, I feel that in my inner thigh. Two more here, two. One, now hold your leg down, lift your hips up, give yourself a big old stretch up there, kind of like a single leg bridge. Lower down, one more time there. Push your hips up, we're finding nice hip extension, squeeze your booty. Ah, oh, lower down. Okay, lie all the way down on that right side. I like to extend my arm just like this, but if it's not comfy, prop your head up. Legs go out long, here we go, we lift. Lower, all you're doing is lifting your leg about hip height. Whew. Whew. Try not to move your hips too much. I do not care how big you make it. Ooh. My glute mead, my little side booty is uh, side bootying <laughs> too. Hold this next one up on one. These are my least favorite, y'all. Medium size circles, one, without moving your hips or spine. Two are in and up. <sighs> Take these slow, really work your leg joint inside of your hip. Four. Ugh. It actually takes a lot of core work to get these done. Two, five, Woo. my abs. Six. I like to add a little ankle articulation point through your toe right here. <sighs> One more. Eight. Now hold that leg back there, flex your foot like you're pushing your heel backwards, really. Squeeze your butt, keep your foot like that. Let's reverse, one, Woo. two. My booty is on fire, y'all. Three, see how medium sized these are. I'm not going my full range, but I'm trying to work on my stability. Five, ooh, that leg start getting real heavy. Six. Ooh, my abs are working too. Seven. Last one here. Eight. Lower it down. Give your booty a little rub. Mine is so sore right on the top there. <laughs> and flip around, legs go to the other direction. <sighs> Alrighty, left elbow down right underneath my shoulder. My right leg is bent. I'm flexing through this left heel. Here we go, lift. Squeeze it up. Push down. Oh, got a little hair on that mat. <laughs> now, clearly, I'm using my own personal mat. I love this mat because it's pink, right? But I know some of us do these videos not from home, right? From the gym, public spaces. And that's another reason why I love these grip socks because they allow you to really stay true to Pilates and articulate through your feet and ankles, but still stay sanitary. Like, you know, maybe you don't wanna do Pilates in your gym without your shoes on. So to me, these are a great alternative. And just easy to pack in your little gym bag. Hold these up, tiny little pulses, eight, seven. Ooh, I feel this left inner thigh. Four, 
three, two, hold it up for a second. Really feel the squeeze between these legs. Go back to big, down. Pull it up, one. Almost there, y'all. Ooh, I feel it. Three, four, now lower this leg. Push through the right one, lift your hips. Give your hips a big old stretch. <sighs> that left arm's about to fall off too, last one. <laughs> hips up, squeeze your booty, pull your belly in real, real tight. <sighs> Lower down, okay, lie all the way down on that left arm. Extend your legs. I'd rather them be a little forward of you than behind. Here we go, we lift, lower, top leg up, down, whoo. I really want you to point your toe across the room. You're trying to make your top leg longer than your bottom one. Ooh, my booty is so sore, four. <laughs> I do not care how high your leg goes. You're not a rocket today, sis. Seven. Holds this one up on eight. Medium sized circles, real slow. One. Ooh, baby. Two. <laughs> Pilates really is great for when you're super sore like me. Uh, because it really speeds up your recovery. It's just, you know a little painful. But I notice when I'm doing more Pilates, I get way less sore and I'm able to work out way better and way harder and get quicker results. It just hurts while you're doing it. I'm sure you guys are sick of me. I'm sick of myself. Why are our legs so heavy? Two more, two. Abs are working over time. One, hold it back there. Flex through that foot, draw the abs in, squeeze this right butt cheek, let's reverse. One, Woo. pull it up and around two. Lift it up and around three. Woo, baby. How are you breathing? Five, we're almost there. Oh, my booty's on fire. <laughs> Six, don't give up like me. Seven, pull that leg around, last one. Boy, eight, lower down. Give that thing a little stretch. Flip over onto your tummy. Hands right underneath your shoulders, point your toes. Big stretch up. Look to the right, look to the left, center, lower down. I do not care how high you go. Swan stretch again. Maybe you keep your elbows bent. Look, keep your glutes tight. Center, this is a great exercise if you're working from home today. If you're stuck in a chair, seated a lot. We really wanna open your spine. Last one. Lift and look, and look, and center, lower down. Okay, sit back, little child's pose, open your knees, heels together, oh, should feel real good on your back. Get back to your breathing, calm it down, use your hands, roll yourself up. All right, you guys, you are finished with your AM Pilates routine. I hope your body feels a little bit better. I know that mine does, even though I complain the entire time. Don't forget to come back later this evening or when you have time to complete the PM Pilates workout. Once you do that, don't forget to hop on over to Instagram, tag us in a selfie, and you will be entered to win a gift card. More details about the toe socks giveaway coming during your PM workout with me. So hopefully, I'll see you later on the mat, baby. Bye.